Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Aurora RL. So we uh, we started a war last time with the Zorgians down here in, uh, um, yeah, you guessed it, the the Musida system. Uh, but they are apparently amassing an army and something, and we have to go war on Earth about it. So that's what we're gonna go do. So uh, we're gonna head straight back to Earth and uh, say, whoops. Oh, and by the way, they know where we are. So let's head over here to the Earth and. Uh, have that chat here. We can hail him here. Alright, we've got a very important request. Martin rummages around the data. Uh, it's from the European Alliance scientists. They were fighting about who was right and who was the most authorized to give you missions. And they finally figured it out. A radio telescope spotted a star nearby that, according to their data, should go supernova soon. They want you to investigate. They're shouting over each other about how we only get a chance like this once every million years. Uh, that is all. So I have to just go there and go back. Science to say that it's on the outs on the outside. It's just a star. All and all the interesting things are happening inside. You as a captain won't be affected. Okay. Um, well, you know we got some more things to talk about. First colonizing party is ready to take off. Oh, good. Are they well prepared? I don't care how they're prepared. What do I need to do? Get the colonists and their equipment aboard the ship now. Your mission is to get them to the destination and have them disembark. After that, it's up to you. Of course, helping them set up would be a good idea. They just need extra workers. Any questions? Who's going to handle supplying them? Yeah, not me, is it? What? I don't want to be the, like, a, like a paper boy. All right. Uh, what are the plans for development? Top priority is setting up living quarters and lines of production of essential goods and foodstuffs in order to provide them maximum self-sufficiency. Detailed studies on the planet and the star system. Okay. Uh, yep. Good. Don't try to talk them into helping around the ship. During the trip, they would be busy getting their own equipment ready. Alright. Uh, we got one more thing to talk about. It's very important about the Zorgians. What's the scientist's mission? Oh, I haven't got that one yet. Who are they? What's happening? They're an alien race. Um, anyways, we're at war with them. Oh, is it serious? Yeah. Yep, yeah, check our documents in the computer. Um, do you know what this means? Expect attack in less than a couple years. Most of all, the available races uh, in space looks uh, bad. Okay. What to speed up? Voyager. Speed the Voyager up. Never mind, you have a different task. What's the Voyager? There's another spaceship. I can't tell you more. What could we another Aurora do? Yeah, you don't need another one of me. It's the Voyager. Again, you have a different task. Basically, it's the same. You need to make contacts and diplomatic relationships with all those. Uh, you know what I mean. What about my full powers? Now, just persuade them into sending their representatives here for a temporary accommodation. Then it'll be our turn. Let's see. That's not hard. Okay. So, you want me... Um, that's not it. Nothing went according to plan. Not only their diplomatic representative turned out to be an... Yeah. Uh, try to capture us and bad things. Can I... They didn't really give me anything else. Okay, we did that one. That one's done. We found. Uh, that's a different one. Okay, so uh, where is? I guess I have to go out here. Is this gonna tell me where that star is? Coming more from the you know. Uh, Coordinates are 4387. Alright, I have to leave the system to be able to look at this thing. Oh, you know, I should have grabbed some Marines while I was here. What was it? I don't remember. 4387. It's way up here. The FERCAD system. Okay, we'll go there. I mean, there's war and all that, but we can go there. Maybe we should go try to, try to find these uh, these these rebels. First, we're going to see if we can restock our... Uh, yeah? What happened? Something completely jams all our comms every line in two hours. I mean, I filtered the signal out and it doesn't bother us anymore. The source of the interference is somewhat somewhere on the orbit of Earth. Oh? Somebody's blocking our, um, stuff? Oh, what is that? 
Oh, the Klisk are here. Klisk's uh, voice speaks up. Metallic and lifeless. A Hackazar Corporation trade bot greets you. Hackazar, be ahead. Rather than make your acquaintance. A list of goods will be provided on demand. I can ask you to phrase your queries simply and concisely for easier processing by the AI. So you're jamming me? Um, can you cancel the advertisement? Not among the functions the trading bot can perform. Can I return the bot? Impossible till all samples are sold out. The planet isn't advanced enough. The goods won't sell here. The clients don't have any credits. I have to attack you. <laughs> How much do they cost? Ten credits. Can you give me a discount? Uh, no. Where do I find one? Trading bot does not have such information. Who does? Um... How am I supposed to find him? Alright, I don't have time for this. I'm going to attack you. Equipment systems. Events AI is capable of fighting at the level of an experienced captain. Oh, yeah. Power the weapons. And, um... Yeah. Blast him! What? It is hostile, though. I'm worried maybe this is a bad idea. But you know what? We're going to do it. go and blast him hey you shot my rocket got him okay done bot destroyed problem solved I have to report this to Martin all right Martin I got something to tell you again uh, the radio starts blinking his light um, like that for a week. Every two hours, everywhere on the planet, on everything that remotely resembles a speaker. The source, as we found it, is in uh, is on the orbit. Something alien. Do you know anything about this? Uh, yeah, I do know about this. What is it? It's a Clist trading bot. It's jamming our comms with ads. We need to deal with this. I'll be the one dealing with it, I suppose. Of course. I already de dealt with it. So try to deal with it peacefully. Um, yeah, we did. And able to reach it, yes. In the end, uh, that thing put on a scary show, the same way it did before. Can't say I'll forget it anytime soon. People are panicking. Uh, well, yeah, we're fine. Okay. Uh, oh, the whole reason I'm here is to get more Marines. Mm, I want... Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Drop off all this stuff. What? I have to release you from this duty. What? Oh, don't be a jerk. New breakthroughs in solar power use? Yeah, you're welcome. Communication problem solved? You're welcome. Yes, interference? You're welcome. Mm-hmm. My mom is very scared. Oh, well, sorry. Yeah, whatever. I want... We have all these. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, do these. We don't have enough stuff to buy it, but we could buy... I don't care about that one. Oh, okay. Okay, we get that one. And then we can get up to new bio biotechnologies, turned humanity into a much more tough and endurance rate. Yeah. Plus one hit points to all crew members. We can buy an advanced laser cannon. We're gonna dump our old laser cannon. Oh, we have it already. Never mind. How can we... oh, I have torpedoes. I don't have missiles, though. I think we need everything else, though. Whole fortification. How big is it? 20. I need more space. How do I get more space? One of these is really big. The torpedoes are really big. 
These are only 30, so I could actually lose the torpedoes, add the missiles, and then I have room for, um, like a laser. That's a radar laser can. Whole fortification. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right, off we go. We now have our Marines back, and we went down on our uh, other folks. So we are heading off to Furcad. So we need to go kind of diagonal, which we can't do diagonal, but we can do this. Ships don't fly diagonal in space. I go almost straight up. Hello, Furcad. There you are. Yeah, this is the start. Even preliminary scanning results uh, reveals many interesting things. When we get closer, you have to allocate as many scientists as possible to research the project. Okay. I know what to do, Gordon. Thanks. Let's um, send out... Oh, uh, yeah, you're still here. You. Research drones. There you go. Go do things. Um, and we want to research... Like that, I guess. Star is on the brink of going supernova. For detailed information, we have to assign some scientists to the project in the research screen. I did! This one. We don't need this one. We need this one. Okay. Okay, completed. Am I going to get a little more scan? Uh, I already did. Who? What? Ooh, what? What? Ooh, what? The ship is lost in deep space. A lifeless wreck floating around in the void. No one will ever, on Earth, will ever find out what really happened. What? What happened? Wait a minute. Autosave. I'm a little confused. So, let's stay back here. And, uh, you know, this game's called Aurora Roguelike. It's not really that roguelike. Um, and let's just... It's completed now. So if I come up here and I scan it, am I going to blow up again? I already did. We'll explore this one too. It happened to get... I'm so confused. Okay. So we come up here. We're going to scan it. Okay. We're going to leave. We'll do the research. Like that. Let's pass some turns. Maybe that's all we need to do. Okay. All data collected for this star system. So now let's leave. And then head back to Earth. And then tell them the data. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> okay. We, we, we only died twice. <laughs> uh, where's the soul system? Who knows? I need just the uh, warp home button. Alright. Two soul. <clears throat> okay. Okay. What's this now? Where do I get here? There's something new. Ooh, a spaceship of the humanities race. Oh, is this Voyager? Nope, just passing through. Where's Janeway? Uh, hello. Scientists and engineers have studied the Zorgian weaponry you've covered and were able to reproduce it as a ship cannon. Ooh. I'll take a look. Any good news? Uh, yeah, we finished that mission. I'm ready to listen. Uh, well, it killed us twice, but, uh, we were able to make it out of there. All the information is sent to the scientists, but it's, uh, not important already. I mean, it was kind of important. Most important thing is the amazing technology that gives us opportunity to reduce, recycle solar emissions into a cheap, uh, a chip electrical engineering. Chip? Or cheap. Where have you found this? You told me about the object near the star. Do you remember that? It turned out to be a space cemetery of rogues. You told me that? Functioning using... Okay. You looted the cemetery, didn't you? So, if the needed equipment is carried out of there, then it's destroyed, am I right? Yep. Totally understand you. There goes the worst. I understand you and do encourage your decisions. I think people won't share my attitude. Congratulations, Mr. Whole Planet's Hero. I hope you didn't leave any evidence. 
Uh, no, no evidence. It was burned up by the star. We're good. Um, there's no bot on orbit already. I had to. What? What's that mean? Oh no, I'm not gonna. Do... Oh dang it! I'm not gonna do this. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, energy crisis over. You're welcome. First Icarus station launch. The world is holding its breath while watching how the first gigawatt of energy is transferred from the Icarus 1 station to Earth. Though the launch of the station was delayed several times, it's finally been launched and is producing power for the needs of Earth. Experts predict energy prices dropping by 15% by the end of the year. Cool. Laser processing. Free energy tomorrow? Good work. Yeah, good job, progress. Project, Project Icarus. Okay. Um... We can't quite buy anything here. We need to go get some more research, I guess. Um, this, so we did this one. But we did this one already. We did it. We should be completed. Do I need to talk to him again about it? What's this mean? Um, okay. We don't have this trash on orbit anymore. We simply didn't expect this. Well, do you have anything else? No. Oh, maybe. A couple things. No. Alright. Um, I don't know how to end that mission. We did it. I mean, we died a few times, but we did it. Blew that thing up. That should be done, too. We still have that glowing sphere. I guess we're going to go to the Zorgian space and try to find those uh, those rebels. I guess that's our next step. Maybe we can stop this war that's coming. So, the Zorgians. Could be, it could be any of these. There's a bunch of red giants over here. Let's stop. Um, they won't be here. We've been here before. You're under arrest by the authority of the Rogue's Admiral Court. Uh oh Shut down your weapons and engines and take our landing party on board. Uh... Huh? Why? Analyze data from our beacon and identify that it was you who have broken into it and done massive damage to our property. You will be trialed for that crime. Surrender now. <clears throat> uh, mm. uh, I see now. Well, I don't want to spoil a relationship with your race, but that beacon incident was just a mistake. We are ready to carry responsibility for it. Send in your landing party. We surrender. No one arrests us if you do not, if only not wishing to feel the full power of humanity. Uh, let's be nice. Is this the end of the game? Studied your ship and beacon record. Evidence is sufficient. You have dealt massive damage to our property. You have something to say? We didn't know that it was in yours, was in yours possession. No, we're going to be honest. Uh, yeah. Whoops. As payment for damage you have done to our property, we will fine you with 100 credits. You must bring them within next year. Or we will be disappointed in you and your whole race. Oh, not disappointed. That's an impossibly huge amount. Yeah, we saved one of your ships. That's right. Really, we must check it. They're right. They saved my ship after it was dead. Uh, it was deadly damaged by the Klisk. They could sell information about this location and got many credits for that. But they helped us with resources. See, we're good, guys. Saving a ship in such a situation changes the matter. Let us think. Yes, we will reduce the fine to 30 credits. Uh, maybe we can do something else. Fix the damage we have done. Primitive race has nothing... has nothing to offer us. And you have done already a lot of damage to our beacon. You will pay, or will be destroyed. Ooh, okay. Um, right, this is... wait, okay. Um... Sorry. Um, sorry. Something very important. The Azorians are going to attack my planet. Can you help us with that? <laughs> Nope, can't afford a new conflict with the Zorgian. You lose a potentially profitable cooperation. That's right. And I'll minimize the risk of another conflict with a powerful enemy. Conflict is inevitable. The machine starts humming. Uh, his red suit is trembling on his stomach from his strong pulse. Chance. Possibility. There's one. Not enough data. We need more. If you want our final decision, you have to obtain it. Okay. How? Zorgian's objects have it. Ships. Important thing is, if the information goes missing and the objects potentially get damaged, it may provoke them to attack sooner. 
Also, if the information does not contain any data that proves there is a chance of their attacking us, we will have to decline. Mm -hmm. In case you fail, we will deny everything. Okay. You didn't give me anything for that, did you? Oh, right. First colonist party is already aboard the ship. Oh, I forgot we have people on board. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Ooh, look at that, the Zorgian laser. Um, okay. Sorry, I forgot we're supposed to be, like, you know, saving humanity here. So let's go stop off with the Peacock system. That's what we should be doing. How did I get over there? How did I, how did I do that? I visited this system, and I popped up over here. That's hmm, strange. Alright, to the Peacock system. Is that it? Nope. There it is. Uh, was it, it was this one down here with the moon. Do I need to land uh, like this? Maybe we just scan it. Um, airlock. Last preparations. The colonist uh, leader is a bulky man, about 50 years, with a small gut. He doesn't look like a man used to be overcoming hardships. Used to overcome, uh, I can see you've come to see us off. Of course. Give me a souvenir. Um, what am I doing here? No, we don't need to be here. Ooh, that's a red stuff. Is that us? Oh, it is us. Look at it. It's our, it's our home. Cool. Come on, come on, game. Come on. Um, Alright, very nice. Welcome to New Earth. Let's get out of here. Okay, so... Oops. We're going to go ahead and leave here. And... Colonization. We should pay them a visit sometimes, just in case they need our help. Alright, so that's done. So we found a new home world. So, um, yeah, let's go. let's go see what's going on down here with these guys. We're going to put a cut here, though. Go ahead and fly down there, though. Fly down there. We're going to see if we can find that red dwarf that we're looking for. There's Soul. And, uh... Here, like... Um, we've been to that one. These two are what we want to go to. Let's do what we got. 22 minutes? Okay, let's check. let's check these real quick. Uh, there's a ship. Blow it up! We got a new weapons here. Ooh, look at the range on this thing. Ooh, I like the missiles. Okay. Reload already. I like that it doesn't just, like, sit there. I mean, this, the other ones were nice and it were, like, powerful. But this one's fast. Mm, but not very damaging. Okay, let's fix ourselves up. We're going to have to uh, pick up some more rocks here to fix ourselves. Let's go get his junk. Take that. We'll go ahead and scan the planet over here. And uh, if there's some... Oh, yeah, there is. Let's go pick up some stuff. Not enough crew. Oh, yeah. Um, because they're all busy? Is that the problem? Give me, like, five engineers. Is there somebody researching also? Yeah, there is. Okay, I like that. And landing party is going to be... Like that. Okay. Land. Did we land in the right spot? Yes. Pick up some of this to give ourselves some... Uh, more stuff to fix our ship. And one more down here. Yeah. Okay. Now we could uh, do a couple more. 
Let me, uh, let me just grab these. Just go ahead and get them. Just so we don't, like, run out of stuff in the middle of a battle or something. What's that up there? I saw something up here. Maybe a tornado. Okay. Stop off at this next system here. Yeah, this isn't it either. Oh, maybe... Well, no, that's, that's the... That's not them. That's the Klisk. They're not, they're not even here. Alright. Um, land there. We'll grab some resources. Oh. Oh. A meteor falls from the sky. Oh, this sounds like a... Oh, oh. This is an unsafe planet. Let's get out of here. Come on, get out, get out, get out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, let's put a cut here. Thanks again for watching. And I will see you next time.